We've heard of the ghosts that haunt the shores, the lizard men of the swamps, but one tale has yet to be let off its leash. Deep in the heart of the Sumter National Forest lies a myth, a myth for which locals may be familiar, but one that often goes untold. The ghost dog seems to be a legend within a legend. I've known about the legend at least since I was six or seven years old. The original story took place along the highway that led from Charleston to the mountains of North Carolina, hence the Buncombe Road because it led up to Buncombe County in North Carolina. Essentially, a peddler is coming through town. He has a big white dog with him. Some tales say he was like a mastiff or Great Dane or something of that nature. There's a series of incidents, whether it's petty theft or just rumor mongering. And there's only one stranger in town, so he gets accused of the crime and a hasty crowd hangs him from a nearby tree but they don't take into account that his big white dog is not willing to give up so easily. And the dog stays at the gallows and howls for about a week until somebody in the neighborhood puts the dog out of their misery. After that, rather than the tradesman who was later found innocent, rather than him haunting the area, the ghost dog started haunting the area. He has burning eyes and a toothy grin I suppose it's the toothy grin that earns him the name Happy Dog. There are bits and pieces of the legend that don't make much sense if you stop and analyze them. Probably the biggest one being that Ebenezer Methodist Cemetery is involved. The story would involve Peters Creek Road, which is the closest to parallel the old highway that's not really there anymore. That road is in the National Forest now, so there are pieces of it around, but not really one that you could travel from point A to point B. Adding Ebenezer as the cemetery of choice is that it's the most visible one. And it's certainly historic, and Dr. Douglas, uh, who plays a part in the, one of the original tales, uh, is actually buried there. The most recent sightings I've seen documented were in the early 70s and there were several newspaper articles that uh, fit along, people seeing uh, Happy Dog. After that, it seems that it didn't get newsworthy attention. But if you ask just about anybody between Newbury and Union, if they've ever seen the ghost dog, they'll say that they saw the dog, they were terrified, and they got away as fast as they could. But other people see him along Mabenton Road, even as far as Brazelman's Bridge Road, uh, which probably is trying to tie the Ebenezer Cemetery into it. I don't consider that the Happy Dog is particularly a nice spirit. I wouldn't go out looking for him. There's really no good reason to be driving along those roads in the middle of the night. Goshen and Mabenton are two of the most isolated areas in South Carolina. It's one of those places you have to gas up before you go because there's not a gas station anywhere. I suspect that there may be some truth to the legend, but it's all tied up in folklore. But I'm not going to say that the Hound of Goshen story is completely unique, but I think it's pretty unique to the upper part of South Carolina to have a localized ghost dog haunting a specific stretch of road. The story just doesn't seem to want to go away. Mm -hmm.